Welcome back. This video will explain the audiogram bone conduction screen. We just spent some time in the air conduction screen. Let's go to the bone area where I can copy left air, bone, air scores to bone. Let's click that button. You'll see what I mean. But let's say I don't want to do that for the right ear or I want to change something slightly for the left ear. I can certainly do that and that will update that information, but it might be a bit of a time saver to be able to click that button. Here, I'm going to just manually, let's say there's a bone conduction loss here, or conductive loss, so I can put this information in right there. Now, it's a little bit of a mess because I can see all of that uh, information at, at one time. So, as, um, as we talked about before, you can click this little button, and let's say I want to hide left scores for now. I can just kind of hide all those if there were any. And that makes the center area just a little bit cleaner. So I can see there's definitely a, more than a 15 dB gap between air and bone. And I might want to do something about that, call a physician, etc. So um, that information is real easy to enter here either manually or by clicking one of these buttons. As you can see, you can also transfer the right bone scores to the left side or vice versa. You can also come down here just like with the air conduction and enter your scores manually if desired. You can include masking or no response symbols as well. But this area is pretty straightforward and I think it makes sense. So um, thanks for watching.